Hi guys, what I'm going to show you today is how to set up your software that you'll be using for your programming ready to use for your particular type of robot. Now the software we're using is Pickaxe Editor 6 and it's a free download from the Pickaxe website. When you open the program up you're going to see a page that looks like this. The first thing you might notice is that we have something called a Workspace Explorer over here with a pickaxe type, COM port, and a pickaxe simulation. Down below it we have a simulation with what we call a digital panel. Now this digital panel is showing us the output pins on the robot and when we simulate that we'll see those output, output pins firing on and off. Now the type of robot we're using in class is a Pickaxe uh, 20X2 Microbot. You might notice up here that I have a Pickaxe 08M2. So this is not the right type of robot and so I don't have the appropriate digital panel down here. So what we need to do is click on the down arrow and scroll down until you can find the Pickaxe 20X2 and there it is there. Once you click on that, you'll notice that the digital panel changes and we have a lot more output pins for this particular type of robot. So that's setting up the program ready to start your programming. The next thing to look at is that we have this tab here called New Document 1 BAS. Now the BAS is for text-based coding and we may get to that, but for today what we're going to be doing is using block based coding. So you need to go over to this button here called new flowchart and click on that. You'll get this window pop up, just click OK and then you'll get this grid work coming up. This grid work screen is called a flow screen and it is where you create your flowchart which is your program. We always have a flow screen come up with start because you always need a start in your program to tell the robot to start doing whatever program it is that you're doing. Over the right side here, and it may be on the left side, across this side on your computer, it doesn't matter, you have a bunch of commands. So there's the common commands, there's different variables, different procedures, and sound output. The ones we'll be using for our course are common and sound output. So I'm going to go back to common now. So that's how you set up your software ready to start programming so that you've got the right type of pickaxe in your pickaxe type. So that's the 20x2, the correct digital panel, which we need for when we run simulations, and that you have your flow screen ready to start programming and your array of commands down the side. Now you're ready to start programming.